Hello, Shonda Dolls. Welcome to Hair by Shonda TV. And in this video, I will be demonstrating a 360 lace frontal sew-in install. My first step is customizing the frontal for a more natural look. I'll use my tweezers to remove strands and use my razor comb to create baby hair along the perimeter of the hairline. Next, after this phase, I will lighten the knots for a more natural looking scalp. I'll be using Clairol BW2 and a 40 volume developer. I'll apply it around the entire lace and let it process for 30 minutes. I'm gonna cover it up by using my favorite thermal coloring wraps. Okay, after the lightening process is complete and I shampooed it out, I will go through and check for color blind strands that leaked. This, is, this process is only necessary if it's needed. Sometimes I get lucky and I don't have to do this step, but perfection is important. So I just use my beautiful collection, semi-permanent midnight black, and with my tint brush, I'll go right in and I'll darken up those blonde areas where the, you know, the lightener may have leaked. Right there, there was a blonde spot. So I'm just gonna go in and touch that up and make it black again. Now I'm gonna let this process for 30 minutes before shampooing it out. And while that's processing, I'm gonna go ahead and start braiding my customer's hair. I'm gonna start with two really thin anchor braids along the sides of her hairline down to the back. These two braids are gonna be pretty small. I want them to be super small so that, you know, there will be no bulkiness on the back of that frontal. So I'm gonna use these as my anchor to sew down the back half of the 360 frontal. So now I'm gonna finish braiding her hair all over. But remember, I still have that semi-permanent color on the frontal to cover up the blonde spats. So now I'm just molding this baby down. I'm gonna put a rapid strip around it and place the whole mannequin head under a hooded dryer. And while this dries, I'm gonna apply her got to be glued gel on the perimeter of her hairline so that when I install this 360 frontal, it will stick and not go anywhere. This stuff really works, guys. I really recommend you using this for your frontals. So I'm just testing it a little bit to make sure it's tacky enough for me to apply it because you don't want it too wet because then it won't stick. So I'm ponytailing the frontal and slightly turning it inside out. I do this because I don't want any of the hair to attach to the gel when I'm applying it. I don't like to cut off the lace until after I have everything placed exactly where I want it. I don't really want gel and sticky stuff on my fingers and I don't like when the hair gets caught up under the lace. So when I have the lace on there still it really helps me to pull and tug and place everything where I want it to be now after everything is dry and in place and locked down then I'll cut the lace but I need to have that lace for more placement control while installing so I'm just gonna take a rapid strip wrap it around the perimeter of her head while this glue dries and then continue with anchoring down the frontal So now that I have this sewn down, I'm just gonna run through with my comb and part and check to see if everything is super flat, super sleek. You don't want any ruffles or wrinkles or anything like that in her scalp because that is not cute. 
And when I'm done checking my work, I'm going to go ahead and proceed with installing the 26, 24, and 22 inch bundles of Salon Cast Virgin Premium Hair. So now I'm sewing this bottom track over into the front of the 360 frontal. There's a braid under there and I'm anchoring it down, sewing it to that braid. And I'm doing this for the sole reason of one, adding fullness to the sides, two, nailing it down so that it doesn't move anywhere. And trust me, I am so sure that she is not gonna part her hair way down here by her ear, <laughs> okay? And even if she did want to part it by her hair, her ear, she can make a small little part on the top of that track and no one will ever know. See, they could have parted right there where I placed that track. So this will add way more fullness to your sewing and it'll also keep this baby in place. Now, when I get more towards the top, I'm going to sew the tracks within the, the halo part. I'm not going to sew it towards the hair for in a 360 frontal because that's where she will most likely be parting her hair. So I'm starting in the back and I'm gonna to proceed to finish all the way to the top. So now I'm just gonna go back and double check everything and make sure it's all good in the front. It's locked down, it's not moving, but the back I still need to sew down. So I'm going to proceed with sewing down the back part of this 360 frontal. Now I'm sewing this frontal onto those two small braids that I did. And they're small because I don't want it to be bulky. I want it to lay as flat as possible. I'm using a little Moroccan oil control mousse to divine her baby hair and extend the strands down past the lace. We want to conceal the lace. We don't want any of that lace to show. So I'll just take the baby hairs and smooth it down past the lace that I cut so that you can't see the lace. I already put some on the back back here. And so now I'm just doing the front. I love those baby hairs. <laughs> it is cute. It's like a pretty picture frame. I always say that. You have to frame the picture. It's like a lining. Like a man can have a nice fade, but if his lining is crooked, it's all bad. <laughs> And I'm going to allow her edges to dry while I curl her hair in some nice big flowy curls. All right, so look now. Parting it looks really natural. Baby hair is popping. Everything's in place. Nice and full. She can part it anywhere. Another happy customer. <laughs> Perfect. You can order this hair at www.saloncast.com. All the information will be in the description bar at the bottom of this video. 
please give me a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, Shonda Dolls, for watching. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And have a blessed day.